worm as cause and sign of decay. Now, what's an example of that, brothers? Yep. A maggot eats dead flesh. Yes, it does. You know, when a person gets their uh, leg am amputated, yep. they can't save it because the flesh is dead. So maggots form out of your legs because it's, it's nothing but dead flesh. There's nothing to grow on. There's nothing to build that's on, it. man. Yeah. So that's what maggots do. It, 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 it consumes dead things. Dead so, flesh in this account. America's a dead thing. It's a dead thing. And mag maggots is eating it up, man. Yeah. And, it, and it's a slow decay. It's a slow decay. It ain't happening overnight. But it, it, it's slowly decaying. Again, the, the Hebrew word there for the worm is Ramah. Uh, when we look it up, it says maggot, worm, as cause and sign of decay. Now, what's an example of that, brothers? The, the infrastructure, infrastructure of America, all right? And you'll see the article, today, America's infrastructure is crumbling. And what is that, brothers? We're Prophecy. That That's what we're supposed to be teaching about, man. Paid for and built you know, or one of the many things. I got to preach yeah. to back you up. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 18. By much slothfulness, the building decayeth, and through idleness of the hands, the house droppeth through. And that's basically what's happened to the whole of America because instead of taking the money that they make and, and investing it, putting it back into our rebuilding and, and, and um, maintaining uh, the structure, you know, which, which is what keeps this country together, that structure, those roads, what they're doing is they're taking the money and spending it on the military or the majority of the money on the military and on things that are that are less significant than keeping uh, their so-called empire afloat, which is all uh, um, prophecy, because it's all the plans of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, so whatever whatever plans they have, the Most High is always going to checkmate them. You know, because this is chess. This is spiritual chess. It's not checkers. You know, so so basically that's why it says by much slothfulness because they're not uh, fixing the roads. Yeah, that 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 pie. Is an example of the slothfulness, because when we when it when they break it down, you see where most of the money is going to the military. So they're being slothful in the upkeep of of the infrastructure. Says by much slothfulness the building decayeth, and that's what's happening. The word for decay is the word uh, I believe is makak. Let me see. Let me go back again. The Hebrew word is. This is an investment for. Yep, makak. And your Macaque, children, which and means your to be low, be humiliated, your parents did. Uh, to be low, in is uh, be humiliated, to sink, if we want to, to be brought to be low. And that's why you see the roads falling apart. And if you can see the inside of these buildings, these buildings are falling apart. The bridges, you know, are really falling apart. If, if, they, if they don't do stuff, that, all they're doing basically is patching, patching stuff up to keep it together. You know, if they if they if they were to rebuild it, they would cost so much money that they would have to. They would be probably be cheaper for them to just build a whole another uh, bridge or, or build down. Or, you know, to just tear it down. You know, it'd be cheaper to do that. Which is what the Mosai is going to do anyway. Right. The Mosai is going to tear this place down, and it will never be rebuilt. <laughs> it's going to stay as a desert to be a monument to what happens when a nation thrives on wickedness now when you go down to uh the decinius hebrew child lexicon it says uh to pine um to melt away something melts away slowly <laughs> to pine pining what you pining for? yep hence to decay, <laughs> decay to be brought man. low brought low because this the, what made this country great was all the lights that's why that song uh, uh, american woman stay away from me you know, yep. uh, color lights will hypnotize, yep. sparkle someone else's eyes, you know, yep. because yep. that's what really was the attraction, you yeah. know. But behind that attraction, it, it's like a, 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 you see a fine woman, you know, and, and she looks good on the outside, but inside she's all full of diseases, you know. But you can't tell because you can't see inside of her. And that's what America's like. That takes us back to the book of Revelation. It speaks about the, the woman had a golden cup in her hand yep. full of abominations. That's it. That's it. That's it. That woman is America. All right. One of the abominations is the fact you got faggots walking around, lesbians, homosexuals, and it's infrastructure. That's one of the abominations. Because when you're driving the roads, man, and, and you, you, you keep hitting them craters, they're not even potholes anymore. They're craters. Then all of a sudden your tire blows out, your rim gets bent. You ain't happy, man. No, hell no. 
Elder Tahar just told you what happened to him. You get mad, man. So that's an abomination. You know? Done. You got, you got any more? No, no, that was it on that. Yeah, let me go back to this article. It says, today's America's infrastructure is woefully, <laughs> war means destruction, underfunded. And we just gave you an example. Most of the money is going to the military. And its condition is severely degraded. Despite local and state agencies continued efforts to form private public partnerships to manage our infrastructure is in a tight fiscal climate. The American Society of Civil Engineers documents the shortcomings of investment in its series of reports failure to act. Now isn't that just what uh, Elder Ramlab read? Uh, was it because of uh, slothfulness? The building the KF. I just read it here. It says, The American Society of Civil Engineers documents these shortcomings of investment in its series of reports failure to act, being slothful. The investment shortfall is forecast to be $1.1 trillion by 2020, increasing to $4.7 trillion by 2040. The bottom line, according to ASCE, is that if investments in surface transportation aren't made in conjunction with significant policy reforms, families will have a lower standard of living, businesses will be paying more and producing less, and our nation will lose ground in the global economy. And it's a lot more uh, detrimental than that, man. Pretty much America's on its way out. Even George Collin made that statement. He said America's circling the drain. But now I got All a question. Right. Why doesn't Baloo speak on that? Because he's not a prophet. Okay? <laughs> Baloo, I'm going to change your name. All right? I'm going to change your name to Shapalawath. I looked up that word uh, uh, in Ecclesiastes. Shapalawath means idleness, inactivity, sinking. Shapalawath. That's your new name, uh, Baloo. Because I looked up the it says, and through idleness, meaning uh, Shapala Wath, it says, uh, of the hands, the house droppeth through. You know, and like how I said, you know, he that built his house on sand, you know, the wind's going to come and blow on it, and it's going to throw that house down. That's right. You know, because it wasn't built upon that rock. Because if your house was built upon that rock, you would you would done what Yahushai was doing. You would have done what Peter and the apostles were doing. You would do what Great Millstone is doing. America wasn't built on no rock. That's why Jimi Hendrix wrote that song, Castles of Sand, yep. Fall into the Sea Eventually. <laughs> that's, that's, hey, that's the story that's of all these different empires over the, <laughs> yeah, over the ages. That's right. But our empire will not, uh, well, our kingdom will never fall, man. It tells you that in the book of Daniel. It says that they shall possess the kingdom even forever and forever. And forever. Okay? Throughout the ages. Throughout the ages. Uh, going back to the article, unless you got something. Uh, oh, which uh, it says, uh, Israel shall be a world without end. A world without end. That's right. This dangerous scenario is not merely some abstract concern. Investment shortfalls mean that much needed maintenance America's and modernization are not being done. Collapsing. And our infrastructure systems are deteriorating. We've had some and you can see that, a uh, good example of that in New York. All the right, when you drive the streets of New York. We got brothers, we got reports from brothers over there in uh, Indiana. They say those are some of the worst roads in this so-called country, man, which is really a corporation. All right, the brothers down there in Indiana. Um, for the most part, this isn't something dramatic you will notice overnight. Now, didn't we say that? That, that it's a slow decay? But a gradual worsening of conditions over time. Your commute will be less reliable. Elder Tar just... Oh, man. Your commute will be less reliable. Elder Tar just gave you the, the, what happened to him when he was commuting. All right? His car broke down simply because he, he went over a crater and he had to leave the car there. He, he was being inconvenienced. So that's one example. It's so All right? To Your commute will become think. less reliable. Your shipments will take longer. You may experience start. more electrical outages and that's water issues. Now, isn't that what happened in, in D.C.? All of those when the, the power went out? With 
dikes and levees and agriculture What's that? and roads. And without that, humans would never have risen above the hunter-gatherer status. Bad things happen when an empire That's right. allows its infrastructure so, to So, man, decline. everything we're reading here is, uh, you know, is in the news and it's in the scriptures. Okay, um, here's the article here. Washington, D.C. power outage information. It crumbled and collapsed and we okay, um, the dark ages. Okay, this one really doesn't say when it happened.